Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Check the post of Husker Nation. Brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. I want, I want to wish the good folks of Husker Nation an early and glorious weekend. Now, this show is going to be a reaction to an article that I saw. All right, it's from Athlon Sports. It was written by, and I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, Stephen Lasson. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, about whether the Huskers are going to make a bowl game or not this season. Now, let's be honest. This entire season is probably, most likely, odds are going to be judged by whether the Huskers make a bowl game or not. So at some point, I was going to be doing this show. This isn't some sort of shocker show like, oh my God, why is he talking about this? Like, this is probably the be-all, end-all. And there's other things. Probably the be-all, end-all of whether this season is considered a success or not. I mean, let's, let's be real. Let's be honest. Okay. Now, there are other factors, but that's going to be the bottom line. This was a show I was going to do at some point in time, so why not now? So let's look at the Nebraska football schedule. Not an easy schedule, right? They're going to be underdogs in six of their games, projected underdogs. Okay, Oklahoma, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio State, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Probably going to be underdogs in those games. Now, they're going to be favored in most of the other games, but not by a ton. You look at Northwestern, a team that has won the Big Ten West Championship two out of the past three years, had two first-round picks this past season. I don't know if they've ever done that before, so that was cool for them. Michigan State is also, like, those two games are definitely not guarantees. We're definitely not going to be a big-time favorite. In fact, there's probably only one game out of those six where we're going to be a definitive favorite, where we're going to be favored by more than seven points. All right, so what does that mean? It means we're going to have to win the games that we're supposed to. Like, we can't have, I was going to say a whole lot of, I was going to say any upsets. we got to win the games we're supposed to, and we need to find a way to win the close games. Whether we get to six games or not this year is going to come down to the close games. Do we find a way to win those games or not? That's going to be the key to this season, in my very humble opinion. Now, we probably also need to pull off an upset or two somewhere along the way. All right, now there were six other writers who chimed in on this article and gave their prediction if they thought Nebraska was going to make a bowl game or not. Four of those six writers who gave their prediction predicted Nebraska would not make a bowl game. That's 66% or two-thirds for all you math majors out there. Now, what are my thoughts? My thought is we'd better make a freaking bowl game. Okay, here's the deal. It's year four under Scott Frost. Bill Moose came out and predicted that we're going to win eight or nine games. If we got to eight or nine wins, I think Husker Nation would be ecstatic. Okay, like I said, the barometer is going to be six wins. But if he's predicting eight or nine... Got to get to six. I don't think I'm alone in those thinking. So six is the minimum expectation. I think that's safe to say. And I mentioned we got a tough schedule. We do. A lot of big name programs on there. Here's what I'm going to tell you. I don't care about the tough schedule. It's year four. You got to find a way. At some point, you're going to find a way to win some games or you're not. I go back, and I, admittedly, 2019 LSU with Joe Burrow, maybe the greatest football team of all time, right behind 95 and 71 Nebraska. But what they did schedule-wise and who they beat, I'd have to go back and double-check. I did not. But if I remember right, they beat six or seven teams in the top ten. They found a way to go 15-0 and 0 and beat six or seven top ten teams. They, could, they were insanely talented. But they could have easily stumbled somewhere along the way. And we're not – obviously, we won a national title. But I'm just comparing. Like, they found a way to win those games. we got to find a way, despite the schedule, to win at least six games. Now, I do predict that they will make a bowl game. I'm not going to say I'm like a thousand percent confident in that prediction. Nobody really knows what's going to happen. All right. I believe they're better than they've been since Scott Frost got here. I know the coaches believe that. And I will say this, just throwing this out here. This is a show for another day, but I do believe no matter what happens, Scott Frost needs to be here for five years, no matter what happens this year, but that's a show for another day. But I believe the coaches believe that they're better than they have been. And they've kind of said it. They kind of hit it, hinted at it. And in certain areas, they've said they're better in certain areas. I believe they think they're better than they've been since they got here. They're hesitant to say it because there's been some talk in the past and it hasn't exactly gone phenomenally phenomenal. My question for you, my question for the fine folks at home, for Husker Nation, Nebraska fans, will the Huskers get to six wins in your opinion? What do you think? Okay, let me know. Facebook, Twitter, check it out on YouTube, omaha.com slash character. Let me know what you folks think. Until next time, Husker Nation, go big red and always remember. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.